president says his administration is already in the process of securing another 500 million tests. Now, that's on top of the half billion his team pledged last month. The president says you'll be able to start requesting it next week on a website that'll be rolled out soon. Also, he's sending 1,000 military medical teams to New York, Ohio, and four other hard-hit states. In addition, I directed FEMA to work with every state, territory, and the District of Columbia to make sure they have enough hospital bed capacity. Next week, the White House is expected to announce a plan to send high-quality masks to Americans for free. The past two years have been a roller coaster for retail stores. As the pandemic shows no signs of going away, there's still more disruptions from closures to masks to supply chain issues. Latest issue plaguing ABC stores across the state. With the challenges the new variant presents. You could have weeks where nobody calls in sick, and you could have days where five people call in sick, and you just have to adjust. And he says dealing with sick colleagues is only part of the challenge for his employees these days. Employees are getting just verbally abused constantly, which is really difficult, especially when your staff is working so hard. Several counties like Wake and Chatham have had to shorten store hours. Others like Wilson have had to close stores on certain days to staff others. Um, you know, fingers crossed, knock, knocking on wood, of course, uh, the whole time I'm saying this, I'm just going, yeah, tomorrow that will change. But, you know, that's just the reality of everything right now is everything changes every day. You know, Harris Peter reduced their hours. Um, you know, I mean, and other ABC boards have done that too. We're, I think we're all just kind of in the same boat. From a customer service standpoint, you know, we just want to remain open and, and, and be as, you know, as regular as we possibly can be.